The transformer engine has two main modes in order to operate on data, batch and streaming. In this lesson, we will explore how batch processing mode works. When we first set our instance at the build a transformer pipeline lesson, we selected a sample pipeline, and we saw that it is automatically selected to streaming mode on our origin stage. That was a sample pipeline, and that is why it was already selected to streaming mode. It was set to streaming because the sample pipeline's origin stages expected new data to arrive in time. Let's look at another sample pipeline, Scala user defined functions. We can see in general settings that the pipeline is set to batch mode by default. We have a raw data source which has a JSON file. The file consists of some students and their exam values. We have two processing stages, and then we write data. When we run this pipeline, the transformer engine works in batch mode, loads all of the data that is coming from the origin stage to memory, processes data, writes the filtered data that came from processing stages, and then when there is no more data, the pipeline stops. Batch mode of a transformer engine instance operates on batch data. This is a one-time process, and after we finish our calculations, there is no need for our pipeline to continue working. The behavior of batch mode is exactly this. When we run our pipeline in batch mode, the engine reads all data available on our origin stages, performs operations, writes data to our destinations, and then stops the pipeline from running. If we have a pipeline that requires us to work on data that is not changing in time, we should use batch mode for our use cases.